Throw your law degree into dustbin. Articles 8 mocks Keamo. Shaibu's special assistant on public communication to Atiku Abubaka mocked Festus Keamo following the defeat he Keamo suffered at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja. The court awarded a 10 million naira fine against Mr. Keamo for filing a frivolous suit against the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the February 25th election. Keamo, who, who was also the spokesperson of the dissolved Tinibu Shetima's Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, had filed the suit marked FHC ABJ CS 84 2023 on January 2023. In the application, he had sought an order compelling the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, ICPC, and the Code of Conduct Bureau, CCB, to probe and prosecute Abubakar. Keamo based his action on the ground of claims by one of Abubakar's aides, Michael Achimogu, that between 1999 and 2007, when he was vice president, he, Achimogu, conspired with ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo to rip off the country using what he termed special purpose vehicles. However, he lost woefully in court today. Reacting to court ruling, Shaibu said Keamo should throw his law degree into the dustbin as it was nothing but useless. Shaibu said that while Keamo was eager to satisfy his paymasters, he did not wait for up to three days for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and other agencies to act on his petition, but hurriedly filed a suit before the court seeking an order to mandate the agencies to act on his petition. According to Shaibu, the judgment was clear evidence that the former minister was only playing cheap politics. He said that Keamo's incompetence has been confirmed by Justice Omotosho. One wonders how he was elevated to the rank of the senior advocate of Nigeria despite several clarifications that the allegations levied against Atiku were trumped up. Keamo refused to listen reasons. Shaibu further stated that, rather than act like a refined lawyer as expected of a senior advocate of Nigeria, he decided to act like a political jobber. Now, he has been disgraced before the entire world. This was a man who served under the legendary chief Gani Fayohimi. What a shame, he said. He noted that Keamo's latest defeat was not surprising, given that he had lost many high-profile cases in court while he was an Economic and Financial Crimes Commission prosecutor, EFCC prosecutor. Shaibu added that when the jobless former minister was filing the frivolous case, we informed Nigerians that he would lose. The, predic the prediction was in line with his antecedent as a failed Economic and Financial Crimes Commission prosecutor.
Today, we have been justified. He was the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission prosecutor against Governor Timmy Priye Silva, but he lost the case. He represented the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, against Femi Fanikayode and also lost. Even the case he instituted against the Lagos State House of Assembly during the Tinubu Certificate Scandal marked ID slash 639M slash 99. Keamo didn't do better. In the case of former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dimeji Bakonde, in which Keamo was the lead prosecutor, it also ended in another a small failure, he said. Keamo made a name for himself by constantly filing frivolous suits in order to entertain the media. He needs to throw his law certificates into the dustbin so he can face his job as a social media influencer other than waste his time in courts, he said. Delivering the ruling, Justice Omotosho held that he had two issues for determination, which were whether the suit was frivolous and whether the relief sought by Kayamo could be granted. The judge, who said the jurisdiction of the court would be determined, also noted that the local standing of the applicant would also be looked into. Local standing is the capacity of a party to institute an action. It interrogates what is the business of the plaintiff with the defendant. The need for proper local standing is to prevent busybodies from instituting a suit and restraining them from wasting the time of the court, he said. He said though the court did not say that the ex-minister did not have a right to write statutory agencies to investigate Abubakar, but that he had not shown why he was affected by Abubakar's action. A citizen of a country has a right to report crime, and that cannot be an infraction on fundamental rights of any person. But the complainant is to complain to the statutory agencies and not to drag the first defendant with the agencies to court to seek an order to compel the agencies to investigate the suspect, he said. Justice Omotosho held that investigating authorities had the discretionary powers to investigate any case and to know if such case would warrant any prosecution or not. Citing previous cases to back his decision, he said the law is right that the court cannot compel investigating agencies to perform their discretionary powers. The judge, who read Kayamo's letters, wherein he gave the investigating agencies 72-hour ultimatum to investigate Abubakar, said the Court of Appeal in one of its decisions cautioned public officers against abuse of powers. He said it was unheard of that a citizen would give statutory agencies 72 hours to investigate and prosecute an alleged offense. And immediately after the 72 hours, an action was filed. The question is, is 72 hours sufficient for the investigation and conclusion of action of this nature? The answer is no, he said. Omoto Sho, who said Keamo's, Keamo did not even give a reasonable time for the statutory bodies to act before filing the suit, added 
This means that the action was filed in bad faith. He said the case was frivolous and an abuse of court process. He said Kayamo acted as if it was an errand he was an errand boy. He said it was a high it was high time public officers knew that statutory agencies should not be used to settle political dis discord. The judge therefore commended the EFCC, ICPC, and the CCB for refusing to act in a way that would suggest that Keamo was given them directive. The plaintiff should know that such suits will not succeed, he said. Omoto Shoku described the suit as frivolous, vexatious, and abuse of court process consequently dismissed the suit. Shortly after the ruling, ICPC's lawyer Odugun asked for a 30 million naira fine in favor of his client. She argued that the ICPC had been diligent in defending the matter and that time and resources had been wasted. Also, Abubakar's lawyer, Mr. Imanio, prayed the court for a 200 million naira fine against Keamo, considering that his client was a was former vice president and presidential candidate in the last election. But Keamo's counsel, O.C. Uju, disagreed with the two lawyers asking the court to dismiss their application for a cost. The judge, however, awarded a 5 million naira fine each in favor of Abu Bakr and ICPC. Meanwhile, in a statement from his former from his assistant, rather, head of chambers, the former minister vowed to appeal the court's decision. The statement explained earlier today a federal high court in Abuja dismissed the case filed by Festus Kiyamo against the candidate of the PDP in the last presidential election, Alaji Atiku Abubaka, over the SPV saga principally because the court was of the opinion that the law enforcement agencies were not given enough time to commence investigation before the suit was filed amongst uh, sundry reasons. Our client respectfully disagrees with the reasons for the said decision because the law enforcement agencies did not indicate their willingness to commence investigation. Even if they were given more time, we want to establish a legal principle that the society cannot wait as infinitum for law enforcement agencies to do their statutory duties. The suit was designed to prompt the agencies to show their readiness to investigate. We are immediately filing an appeal against the said decision of the Court of Appeal as the struggle on this issue continues. In his reaction, Shaibu called on Keamo to throw his law certificate in the dustbin following the defeat he suffered at the Federal High Court, Abuja.